during the investigation, they continue, continued to commit not only thefts, but also um, disorderly conduct, um, trespasses, other violations that affected the people in the neighborhood. I received many complaints about the, the other suspects in this case um, from community members about behavior that was disrupting the neighborhood throughout the investigation. So I recognize that, um, that these suspects were, uh, were affecting the, the peace of White Center um, and that building this case was um, going to make a difference. Um, Mr. Um, the, the defendant here today was the one that was um, purchasing the stolen liquor from these thieves. Um, they, in, in a sense, incentivizing the, the behavior that was having an effect on the White Center neighborhood. Um, if, it, if, it, if it weren't for him, these thieves wouldn't have been able to continue at the rate that they did, um, continue to um, fly under the radar um, as long as they had been. Uh, and so even though this was a little bit of a different type of case for a community police officer to be involved in, um, we've seen that it's had an effect on the neighborhood since the people involved in this have been um, in custody. We haven't had the, the problems and the complaints come across my desk that, that we have seen. Thank you for your time. Well, thank you for coming in, and of course we appreciate the work you've done. Thank you. Here, the second person I'd like to, in to introduce to the court and speak is Jean Bellato. Jean is the chief uh, security investigator for Safeway, a former FBI agent who does a phenomenal job for Safeway. I've known Jean for many, many years, and I think you would like to speak to the court about this case. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you, Ronna. Well, Mr. Retail theft is a serious problem we're facing in a lot of our stores. This particular case spanned from at least February last year until uh, the late summer, early fall, it involved multiple thefts from numerous Safeways. And organized retail theft really impacts our customers, our, our employees. Thousands of dollars of worth of liquor were stolen from our stores and it wound up being sold, eventually to Mr. Morales. We, on behalf of Safeway, I'd like to extend my appreciation to the uh, King County Sheriff's Office and to the prosecutors for the time and effort they expended on this prosecution and to the court for a timely, equitable adjudication. So, I apologize if I'm supposed to know this. The people who are actually stealing, are they internal to your corporation, or they had some way to get a truck? Or no, you're right. They, these were uh, people, let's say almost 100% were substance abusers, heroin addicts, mm -hmm. and they would just drive up to our stores and go and just steal. Uh, I they'd, see. they'd operate in rings and take shopping carts, and knapsacks, and bags. This wasn't shopping because it was a whole different element of theft. investigation runner, we did work with the King County Sheriff's Office to assist in this. We identified the individuals involved in the activity. Uh, based upon that, we're taking some steps to try to conclude future thefts. Will people continue to steal? Probably. We try to just raise the burden where it's more of a task for them to steal. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Appreciate you coming in today. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Well, Your Honor, um, obviously we agreed to the recommendation of the city state. We asked the court to follow that recommendation. We also asked the court to allow Mr. Morales to serve his home detention through the rent in the jail. Um, so I figured it's, it's, it saves $3,600 a month. And was, weren't you hoping for EHM? Yes. Yes, through rent. Through rent. Right. And uh, that was amazing. And I went down to the uh, home detention here and found out that they're uh, $119 a day. And just spend his time at the, to the home detention here. Um, so we'd ask the court to do the right thing. know that either. There's and a sliding scale. It starts pretty low, but um, for Mr. Morales, that was a little bit. Um, I know Mr. Morales is sorry for the, his part of this crime. It was something that uh, he regrets, and he's uh, um, suffered, obviously, financially, as I indicated in my report. He's also suffered. Uh, just his uh, um, understanding of the community that um, this has been publicized and uh, it certainly affected him um, on a very personal level as well. And he understands the harm that 
resulted from this to the victims and also to the people around them, frankly. Um, friends is business, friends is employees, and uh, it's an aberration from what otherwise had been a very positive life. Um, Mr. Morales, when I advised him uh, that the state was going to be asking to do community service hours, uh, left at the opportunity and is four and fifty hours since that time I presented to the court uh, you know, I got it, but there was a little PayPal letter in today that uh, indicated he served fifty hours as well as feeding 190 people uh, on his own dime mm -hmm. at the at the uh, West Seattle Senior Center. So that's something he has enjoyed doing and continued to do. Yes, there were there. lovely letters there were lovely letters submitted from so, uh, Mr. Mons, so we, we would ask the court to follow the agreed recommendation. Um, I don't know exactly how long Renton would take if the court authorizes that. Uh, I would ask for three weeks for a reporting date. Okay. And this is no surprise. I, no That's reason. correct. I'd say Mr. George. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'll return this to you. That's your copy if you want. Oh, all right. I don't mind keeping it in here, but you'll remind me if necessary. Typically, uh, is since. This is a Renton EHM. I, I don't know, were you expecting that uh, hands, the helping hands would be supervising him for the community service? I don't or? think it's necessary, or I okay. certainly can uh, okay. facilitate I, 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 that. That's fine. Your Honor, if, if you do intend to order community service and you uh, choose the um, senior center that Mr. Gerard is proposing, uh, I can agree to receive confirmation of time completion by a specific date and provide the court if I have not received it, you know, let the court know if I have not received it, if you want to do it that way. And it does, I don't feel that he has to do 30 days, this is a substantial number, 240 if you just do the basic arithmetic, so I'm not going to insist that it all be in one place. There may be other uh, perfectly reputable organizations, given that he has a nice job and has begun this process and that he has lots of capabilities. I don't mind if we set a review hearing, let's say in six months or something, and we can make sure that, again, that we're seeing the substantial progress. I'm not requiring it will be done in six months, but um, I don't know whether that's a challenge uh, in terms of the EHF, whether he's allowed to go do community service. Well, that, I think that would be fine, is my guess. As long as he went to a place that he right. understood he was going yes. as opposed to... And it's near his, his business and house, so, and okay. home, so it's all in the same neighborhood. And, uh, of course, I'm happy to hear from your client. Is there anybody else who's going to speak on his behalf? No. Thank you. Thank you. And again, Joanna, thank you. you for giving me the opportunity to talk to you. Uh, number one, I apologize to God. I apologize to the law. I apologize to yourself. Uh, if there was the circumstances, take it at a level than the law and the way that they took it. Uh, my intention always, as you see, whatever I've been doing for the community for over 22 years in West Seattle, and uh, I, I'm a very community guy, I'm a social guy, I'm alcohol, drugs, so everything free, never been using anything in my life. I like to keep it a very beautiful liquor collection in my house, and they were very sad that they took my memories away from me. I'm not happy, but there was a reality. My intention, they was helping those guy, Michael Allen Jensen. He was dying outside of my establishment. I helped him a lot. I spent a lot of thousands of dollars on my own package. He has to put it rehabilitation, put it through hard review. Uh, helping him to finish his treatment, pay him a few times the bail bonds, allow him to stay a few weeks, all his stuff in my garage because he stayed for several weeks in the hard review doing the rehabilitation, doing everything. I'm aware that those guys that were doing funny activities through those stores, those guys hate the two percentage. That's whatever they call it. Mm -hmm. that, and I know Michael have a very, very hard addictions. He and I told the detectives, I'm telling yourself, those guys had to do whatever had to do to keep surviving, but I do. Whatever I do, I will try to pay for rehabilitation, try to finish. In the middle of the processing, I did a couple mistakes, and the mistake that I make it, like I said, I'm sorry. 
I'm a person to do, I want to be a ringleader at my house. I'm not a ringleader for the liquor. I'm not a ringleader for nothing else. The way that the media and the way more than the way Sir Black talk. Way Sir Black has been destroyed my life. I have a lot of engagements about that, but you know, Joanna, sure. I respect that. I, I'm, so, I'm sorry, so this last thing you said, I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, I have a lot of anger because yes. I try to communicate with Wesaro Black and they have been denied even my calls. Try to say something. They have not been put up anything good that I've been doing it. My business in the end of 2012, I lost over than $13,000 with the stolen alcohol than they did to Triff. They were destroyed the front and the back of my building. Wesaro Black never was there for me. Never was any news for me. And there was all over the world when there was anything negative in my impact on myself. I'm, I'm a little bit frustrated by, by the very poor work for the police department in my cases. Four cases in West Seattle, my restaurant, and three cases in Queen Anne, then I got another prior restaurant. Very poor, and they do excellent job to destroy me. Thank you, Juana. Of course, a lot of hard work has gone in to this case. Um, the court is not required to follow a agreed upon recommendation, but I think there's many good reasons to do that. Uh, Mr. Ross Cardenas has uh, agreed to a substantial amount of restitution. Um, again, there's good reasons always for why that should happen. No question that. There certainly could have been misunderstandings, um, and a number of people were involved, and that's kind of why this happened. I believe Mr. Olson is before me for sentencing yes. today. I, I don't know that any, I don't recognize any of the other names, but perhaps they'll come to me another week, but not necessarily. Uh, the court will. Yes, sir. 
Your Honor, if you allow me to prove, give me the opportunity to prove, then I can make, make a Michael Jensen a good man. He's going to be soon in a war release. I want to put him to work. The detective can be behind me every second if he want it. I pay the salary that he want it. And I want to prove to the system that I can make Michael Jensen a good man. Same thing that I've been doing to a lot of people. Well, I'm going to impose a no contact order for one year. We'll see how everybody feels about it after that. I don't know whether Mr. Jensen potentially is going to have new problems or different problems. Very few people can make anybody into almost anything as adults. I, and that's not a prediction about Mr. Jensen and certainly not to you. That's, he's the one who has to. If you're able to be some help to him later, and again, I don't know that I'm ever going to see Mr. Jensen. He may have a no-contact order with you, right? Thank so you, the order at this point goes one way, right? I'm not able to tell other people what to do. I'm telling you, you shouldn't have any contact with Mr. Jensen for a year. As to the others, I'm sure Safeway has trespassed you. That's the guess. But I'm just saying they may have set a no-contact order, a civil one, with you. This point, uh, are we making it the same way in West Seattle, or is it as to every? That's kind of a. Your you uh, council and I discussed the no contact with Safeway and QFC, and I discussed it with the retailers, and the agreement is that there's no reason for a no contact between this particular defendant okay. and the merchants. Thank you. So the will specialize and make more specific. December for a check back. 
Uh, I don't mind if it's canceled if everybody's satisfied that good progress has been made on the community service. So do you want to give me a date in the middle of April? Uh, middle of December, sorry. Yes, Your Honor. Um, December 10th is a Wednesday at 8.45. Is a Wednesday okay, Mr. Gerard? Or would yeah, you that's fine. Okay. And Your Honor, we need to we have office meetings. Sorry. sorry. We have office meetings that day, so it's a good day to be out. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, I know you're mostly, I just want to say mostly in Kent, but that's where your home base is. Right. And a deadline for final completion of the community restitution? I guess we could say a year from now. Okay, April 11, 2015. Mm -hmm. Now, likely, like April 11th next year, isn't that a day later? Isn't that a Saturday? Or does it go the other way? I think a year from now is a day later. So let's make it April 10th. Okay, I think I've got it all hand. A draft of the judgment and sentence to defense counsel for review. I'm handing the uh, defendant, a copy of the uh, instructions on payment of court-ordered financial legal obligations. The defendant has placed his fingerprints on the fingerprint page. And Mr. Morales Cardenas, is that your signature on the, fi the fingerprint page? Okay. And your fingerprints? Okay. okay. Thank you. And I will hand uh, the defendant a copy of the notice of rights on appeal. Uh, Mr. Morales Cardenas, is this your signature on this page? Okay. Finally, we have the notice of ineligibility to possess a firearm and a right to vote. Sir, is this your signature on this page? Okay. And I'll hand this to the court. One question. Uh, can you carry a knife or does it come? I think your attorney can answer it. If it's a legal knife, it's not a firearm. Okay. Right? If it's not a legal knife, it's not a firearm. But like paper fly, buttons, all that. Anyway, Mr. Gerard okay. Thank you, Joanna. But this order would not affect a knife. There's other laws having to do with it. I never used one gun in my life. I never took anything. You're right on the microphone. I saw that. Okay. okay, and so I also have signed the notice uh, of ineligibility to possess a firearm and the loss of the right to vote. Um, now, we should indicate it's Deputy Myers, right? M-Y-E-R-S? M-E-Y-E-R-S. M-Y-E-R-S. And then G-E-N-E. G-E-N-E. B-L-A-H-A-T-O. Okay, one more time. Blaha. B-L-A-H-A-T-O. Blaha. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I was so distracted by his wonderful East Coast accent that I just got lost in whatever his last name was. Okay, and uh, the count dismisses some counts, or he wasn't named Nothing's in the other dismissed. counts? Nothing's being dismissed. Nothing's being dismissed. He wasn't right. named in the other right. counts. Right. Correct. Exactly. There's no community custody or anything, right? There is not. Correct. All right, so this is the Notice of Rights on Appeal. Uh, it does look like Mr. Morales Cardenas has signed it, but uh, I don't sign this, so I'll pass it back to you. And he has a copy of that. You've discussed his rights, if any, on appeal. Or... I have not given him a copy. He'll get a copy with him. Yeah. Okay. So the total financial obligation is... Uh, $15,600. $15,600. I'm waiving court clerk's fees and I'm waiving interest except on restitution. But theoretically, there won't be much interest because the money's already there. Right? I'll let like this. That's the plan. It's 4%. Instructed uh, Deputy Myers to put that into action uh, several weeks ago. Okay, so credit was given for 50 hours of community service, nine months on count three, 364 days on count five. Uh, and again, that the home detention schedule to begin. <coughs> Uh, the 
time might be count three should be 364. That's I apologize, Your Honor, because I'll just switch the counts. Yes. I, I thought I was making a mistake, but I didn't know. Okay, which means so nine months on count five and almost a year on count three. Does it say when it's supposed to begin? Yeah, there we go. December. No, the beginning is uh, toward, toward the top. Hearing. Toward, toward the top uh, to commence on thirty. There we go. Five, five. I'm going to make this four o'clock just in case that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 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 Okay.